Hi, this is Joe Martin from 360 Works. In this video, I wanted to show you how to download and install Zulu, which is our calendar syncing application. To download Zulu, first go to our 360works.com page. From here, you can go to the products section and hit the Zulu link to go to the Zulu products page. Here, there's a link to download the current version. So if you click this, you'll be prompted to download. I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it here and go to my desktop. Um, the file downloaded is a zip file, so you'll need to expand this first. And um, if we look inside the installer uh, of the downloaded file, we've got a Mac installer and a Windows installer. If you're on a Mac, use the Mac installer. If you're on Windows, use the Window installer. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and run the Mac installer. So one of the first questions you see is uh, the question between uh, should you do a standard installation or a hosting provider installation? I'm going to do a standard installation here. I think that's what most people will, will use. You only want to use a hosting provider installation if you want multiple installations of Zulu running on the same machine. The hosting provider installation lets you name them different things so that they don't conflict with each other. But uh, for, for most people, we're just, we're going to stick with standard. So I'll continue here and um, it's going to ask me to authenticate. So once that's authenticated, the, the installer can begin in earnest. And the first thing it asks you for is uh, to set the admin password for Zulu. This is going to be the credentials you use to access the Zulu admin console, which we'll see here in a minute, but just know that You'll, you'll want to store these credentials, keep them around. Um, you'll need them to manage or configure Zulu later on. So I'm just going to type in something here. Uh, let the installer do its job. Um, and um, <laughs> uh, don't worry about this. Uh, for some reason, my uh, our network, my reverse DNS is not correctly configured. So and ignore that and um, the installation was successful and you can prove it if you open up a, a, brow a web page and you go to localhost slash Zulu this will take you to the admin console this is uh, you know I said earlier where you, where you sort of manage and configure Zulu the first thing you probably want to do here is click the register link so that you can enter in the license key and the register to name that you received after you purchased a license for Zulu. Uh, once that's done, you, you won't run into the demo timeout that's built into Zulu. Um, and the demo timeout basically, uh, Zulu will run fully featured for up to two hours, but, but after that two hours, it'll, it'll stop, stop syncing and you'll need to either restart Zulu or enter in a license key in order to keep going. Uh, so let me back out here. And let's go to the sync admin page. Um, here it's going to ask you to log in. And, and this, is, this, is, uh, this is where we would use those credentials that we set in the installer. Um, this is actually the only place you'll need them, but it's important nonetheless. So I'm going to log in here. And uh, here we can see the admin page. Um, this is where you'll come to manage Google and Exchange configurations. Apple calendars are configured elsewhere, but it's still useful to come here if you're um, if you want to check on your configure you know test your FileMaker server configuration, or if you run into any issues, you can email a log file directly to 360 support using this email log file link here. Um, additionally, you can see some information about your installation, including which FileMaker server it's communicating with, the location of your sync data, and the time zone that Zulu will treat events created in FileMaker. Um, I, I'll go into that more in another video. Uh, but for now, this is just sort of a, a basic run through of the admin console. Um, after you install Zulu, uh, probably the, the one thing you do want to test is to make sure that Zulu can communicate with FileMaker server. And you can do that by clicking this link here. 
And if we get this message, successfully communicating with FileMaker server at 127.0.0.1, uh, that means we're, we're good to go and we can continue with, uh, we, we, can, we can move on to other parts of the Zulu setup. Um, it's worth mentioning that by default, Zulu expects to be installed on the same machine as FileMaker server. So by default, it's gonna to try to communicate with FileMaker server at this IP address, which is the, um, the, the IP address of the machine that you're on. Um, there are ways to configure Zulu to communicate with FileMaker server running on a different machine, uh, but that's more of a customized configuration. For now, it looks like everything is up and running and everything looks good. Um, if you run into problems during the installation, I'd like to refer you to our documentation page, and there's there's a number of other uh, pages here you can look at for uh, cover, covering other topics, but the one we're concerned with is this installation. So um, what I just did was I followed the sort of standard installation steps here. Um, if you were a hosting provider and you want, you know, you wanted multiple installations of Zulu on the same machine, you'd, you'd probably want to refer to the custom installation here as that goes into how to set up your set up Zulu inside your own version of Tomcat. Uh, and lastly, we've got some troubleshooting in information here where if the installation fails for some reason, you've got a couple steps here you can try. Most of the time, uh, Zulu has some problems. Um, if there's an issue during installation, it's usually because Zulu could not configure uh, the web server to set up the URL rewrites that it relies upon. You can test this. The, the, the first thing I do is actually, um, I try this URL here. And if you can try this URL and see the Zulu admin console, it means that Zulu's up and running, but web server forwarding is not working. So what I like to do is um, if you open up terminal or command prompt on Windows, you can run the command FMS admin restart HTTP server. And um, just so you know, this won't restart your whole server. It won't restart really anything except for the web server. So this shouldn't really cause any connection loss or outages. This should be a pretty quick um, restart. So let this run. And after that finishes, come back, verify that Zulu is still working over 42424, and then try removing the port. See if you can hit Zulu over the default ports. If you can, it looks good. Um, you can move on to publishing your calendars or integrating with Apple Calendar, Google, or Exchange. Now that Zulu is installed and successfully communicating with FileMaker server, the next step is to upload the Zulu2 sample data database that's included with the download. If you want to integrate Zulu with a pre-existing solution, that's absolutely possible. And I would point you to, to the documentation on integrating Zulu into your FileMaker solution, which outlines the steps you'll need to take in order to import or set up the tables and fields required for Zulu to work. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use the database included with the download. So let's go back to that download folder and we can see the, the database included here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we'll want to come to share and then upload to FileMaker server. I'm going to select my, my local server here, enter my FileMaker server credentials. And um, I do like to keep these somewhat organized. So I have a folder here for this database. Um, and let's go ahead and upload it. After that's done, it should automatically open with FileMaker Pro. So uh, we've, we've, got, we've got Zulu, we've got pretty much all the components in place for Zulu to work. We've got Zulu installed and running, and we've got the, the database that Zulu will use uploaded to FileMaker server. This is a, uh, we're at a pretty good spot right now. Um, and look to the next videos for 
how to publish your calendars and how to integrate with either Apple Calendar, Google, or Exchange. Thanks.